please welcome our mayor, Mayor Greg Ballard. Thank you. Thanks for coming out today. I appreciate it very much. As many of you know, this legacy goes back to 1821, and this is an unbelievable historic treasure for the city that's not always seen uh, good times. Uh, but this is now going to be the, the future of this venerable building, which means so much to us. Uh, we will, this market, this renovation will help us put us on par with many other markets across the country spurring economic development and job growth, hopefully on the uh, east side of Indianapolis. I've always said that this needs to become a destination point. I don't think it is right now. I think it needs to become one, a place where, a place where people can gather, come together, talk, have fun, maybe drink a beer or two, anything uh, that's possible to bring, to bring people together here in the city market because we want to revere this whole building as much as possible. So we are going to have a makeover. We're going to do one, one that is going to be dynamic, colorful. We'll bring the vendors in and we'll bring the people in because this building in our downtown has a rich, very rich, uh, cultural, artistic, historic uh, flavor to it. And we, and we, this building is a large part of it. So as we, we rebuild this and redo this, this hall here and we see what we're going to do on the wings, uh, it's important to understand why we're doing this. When you see what we're going to do on the east wing, you'll see why we're doing it. Right next to it is the cultural trail, which Brian Payne has been uh, pretty much everything on that, I believe. So it, that is his vision for the city, but it's a, it's a vision that's unbelievable, frankly. So the wings have to be taken care of clearly, and I think what we're going to do on the east wing will be truly revolutionary, uh, something that's never been done before. And it needs to add to the vibrancy of our community. This needs to be a piece of it. And I'm so happy that we've been able to figure this out. At least we think we figured this out. And we want people coming down to the market. And by this time next year, I'm expecting to see everybody here in this market enjoying themselves. OK? We'll be back. Thank you. Great vision. But I am here today as president of the City Market Board. And I want to start by thanking Mayor Ballard. It was several months ago that uh, in a meeting with the mayor, he painted his vision for what the City Market ought to be. And that is, he just used the words a few minutes ago, and that is a place of destination. It's a place where people want to come, and they can hardly wait to get here, and they have a great time. And part of it's due to the music we've had this morning, and it's a place of destination. That provided the rallying cry for the board to create a significant change in the market. And, and uh, one question I've been asked probably the most is, so what's different this time? Uh, why is it going to be different? Well, this plan is not a timid plan. This is not just the next step, but rather it's a totally new enterprise. The board is as strong as any board in this city. And I want to recognize them for good, their good work. And board members, if you could just wave real high so people can see it and recognize them. And I would add also that we are very close to 100% participation in every board member supporting, financially supporting the City Market Board in addition to the countless hours that they have contributed. And it is the board acting in unison, which is one of the differences, acting in unison that is moving the mayor's vision forward to fruition. Now what is that vision? And what will make the market a place of destination? Destination. What is so different this time? Well, the city market is returning to its origins, that of being a public marketplace. The market will reinforce the historic character of the facility while providing a fresh place for a place that's fresh with fresh vegetables, cheeses, uh, beef, fish, all the things that you would like to have so readily available and be so fresh and be able to order it during the day and pick it up at five o'clock on the way home. It'll be handy to do that. That's a difference. The Wednesday market that, that, that I think most of you enjoy already has been expanded to Saturday market. We've had three of them already. All three have been successful, including the one during the parade. And that market, the, some, the Saturday market is gonna extend year round. So in the, in the wintertime, this will be on part of the balcony. In the summertime, it will be outside. City Market truly 
will become a place where you can come shop and then have lunch. We will also continue the tradition of the multinational foods, multinational foods ranging from Chinese to Italian to Greek to Mexican to the American deli and, a, and also a, a great place to get a hamburger. Plus, it's a place, if you look around now, a place where there's jewelry for that last minute consumer, a place to get a haircut, a place for a shoe shine and, and, and fresh cut flowers that'll bring that, that green atmosphere and that, that um, wholesome atmosphere back to the market. But probably the biggest news today is the grayness will be gone. It will be replaced with color, and each stand will reflect the products that they sell. Music, now on an every other day basis, will become a daily component to set the tone for those that want to have a, want to shop in a relaxing atmosphere, while Wi-Fi is going to be available for those workaholics that are trying to, to grab a quick business meeting at the same time. I think we all have a favorite memory of the city market. Mine is when the group Up With People performed here many, many years ago, and the balcony was surrounded by Up With People singing. There were a lot of heads shaking yes, that uh, I, didn't, I thought I was the only one old enough to remember that. But it was just, it was festive, and more than that, it was America. And that is what, that's the life we're breathing back into the market and we'll move forward on. One of our newest stand owners is Sydney Hawkins of Circle City Suites. Sydney uh, could have opened her business anywhere in the city, but she chose the city market. Cindy? Thank you, Jim. Uh, good morning. As Jim said, my name is Sydney Hawkins, and I own Circle City Suites. We're a pastry shop here in the city market. Uh, we've been in business about three and a half years. We've been sharing space with the local caterer, Mills Catering, um, the last three and a half years where we kind of plotted our, our move in opening up a retail location. Uh, the city market really was a perfect fit for us. We have enough space to do everything that we need to do here for the city market clientele, the five farmers markets that we do each week, our wholesale clientele's working with different restaurants here in town, and also our catering, wedding cakes, and things along those lines. Part of the reason we came here is that we see the city market as an incubator for small businesses. It's a wonderful place to get started. Um, the build out in a place like this is much lower than many locations in the city. It's also more reasonable in terms of rent and things like that. There's wonderful support from the city market staff here. We've been just so supported by everybody. Also the commitment from the city to see the city market become a vibrant marketplace again. And then also the wonderful down downtown clientele. We're working with many uh, different companies and firms here in the city to do catering um, and also just the wonderful stop folks stopping in every day to pick up a muffin for breakfast or a cookie in the afternoon. The city market has helped a number of small businesses make their mark on Indianapolis and we plan on being the next one. It's exciting to see what's ahead for the city market, more local and artisan vendors who are passionate about what they're doing. Uh, we hope you'll stop down and try some of our wonderful cakes and tarts, um, granolas, jams, and all kinds of made-from-scratch pastry items anytime. We would love to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. 